Hi, what's up everybody? Chris here. Have you ever wondered if machines can truly understand human emotion? Are we on the brink of a new era in conversational artificial intelligence? Well, the answer to that second question is yes, absolutely. And this is one of the tools. Uh, this is Hugging Chat, Hugging Faces, totally free tool that is very good emulator of other closed source tools like uh, ChatGPT or Claude. Um, now, it's definitely not at those levels yet, and it is intended to be run on lighter weight hardware. That's, you know, the mission here, right? Get these conversational intelligence tools to people and, you know, let them run them as opposed to having to pay the 20 bucks a month or whatever that you have to pay, depending on your geographic region, for ChatGPT, right? Or for API calls. This is a fantastic tool. It is fast. That's the first thing that I want to point out. So you you might think, okay, yeah, it's a gimmick, right? You got to write the YouTube script. Uh, you know, we see that, but it's already pre-generated. So it probably wasn't that fast, right? Well, let's just click new chat. Let's just ask it, how should I describe how fast hugging chat is? I mean, we can see it happening, right? This is, this is incredibly zippy considering the, it's totally free. It, like, there's no cost whatsoever. I mean, look at the UI. This is very reminiscent of ChatGPT. And even better, we have access to the data set. We have access to the model weights. They are not the actual weights themselves, so not in a usable state currently, uh, though they intend to change that in the future. They are using the Llama base, which means that you do need to have access to the Llama research weights from Meta in order to be able to run this locally, but they are looking to to change that going down the road. I mean, but you can see th the response is quick. The actual output is totally fine, right? Let's go to a code generation example. Okay, so if you know me, you know the first thing we're gonna do when it comes to code completion is the Fibonacci sequence. So let's just get it out of the way. Let's see how fast this is. All right, we're getting a strange solution here, but uh, let's head over to the code and Give it a shot, so we'll add a code cell. We'll paste this in. We'll fix the formatting. Now that the formatting is fixed, we can go ahead and uh, define this, and then let's use some driver code here, and we'll just say Fibonacci 10. We get 55. Fibonacci 100. Wow, so fast. That's right, because it built us the iterative solution first, which is... I think that's the first time I've seen that in any model. It, I mean, yes, okay, sure. The formatting was a little bit wonky, but I mean, that's fine. It actually gave us an, an efficient solution immediately, which doesn't normally happen. And it was a correct efficient solution, right? So it's the iterative approach. I mean, listen, it's not like this is the most mind-blowing tool in the world. It's going to make mistakes. It is not as great as OpenAI's uh, huge, you know, giant models. But let's look into this and see why this is such a big deal. So while this is hosted by Hugging Face, this is built by uh, Lion AI and their tool called Open Assistant. And I might be mispronouncing Lion. If I am, very sorry. Uh, I haven't heard it said. I've only seen it in text. But, uh, you know, this is, again, Open Assistant is dedicated to providing that open source, uh, you know, chat-based assistant. So let's take a look at and see kind of what, you know, is driving them. Okay, so why do they do this, right? Well, it they spell it out right here. They just want everyone to have access to a great chat-based language model. Now, that kind of feels like what OpenAI's name implies. And so I'm glad that Open Assistant is doing that, like, but for real. Um, and I think, you know, they, they have some kind of like big mission statement, but realistically, a tool like this is, I, I know I've said this a number of times already, it's huge. It's, it's actually almost undescribable how powerful something like this interface being completely free is, right? Uh, the idea that everybody has access to this, and it doesn't matter if you know how to 
use Docker or know how to in pip install a library or have a big GPU or you, you have a Mac or whatever it is, whatever barriers existed, uh, you know, kind of removing those and giving access to a tool like this to everybody that is quite powerful, right? Because we definitely have consumer grade models, but they, they, they kind of like are less powerful and it can matter, right? And so the fact that Hugging Face is hosting this for free is bananas. The actual model that is powering that demo that we saw is this Open Assistant, uh, you know, Llama 30B derivative. So again, this is a Llama model, so it is not permissively licensed at all. Uh, you can't run it without the research weights. So this is meant to be a stepping stone you know, as the open source community catches up, we will see improvements across the board and perhaps even a move towards open source models. But right now, Llama's just so dang good. Part of what makes Open Assistant and that particular Llama model so good is the fact that they have this absolutely massive data set. So if we look at the numbers, there is 161,000 messages, which is huge. They're in a bunch of different languages. Uh, English is tremendously overrepresented as, you know, we're used to. Um, I, you know, we all want the field to move more towards uh, more inclusive models. For right now, of course, we're kind of stuck in English land. But, uh, you know, going forward, we're going to see more and more multilingual options pop up. And that would be fantastic. But this data set is specifically meant for conversational style models so it's fantastic at what it does we have the ability to do the same kinds of things you do with gpt 3.5 turbo or uh, gpt4 which is giving this idea of assistant or prompter um, in any case the technology is amazing the tool is amazing the work that they're doing is amazing and it's all thanks to open assistant you can try their assistant on their website. You just have to log in. Uh, but, you know, it's just hosted here on Hugging Face. I just have, I don't have a lot of words as to, you know, how important this is. And you might think to yourself, well, Chris, we've had Alpaca Laura the whole time, buddy. We've had all of these amazing open source efforts. And that's absolutely true. And you can't diminish that. It, 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 those models are huge, but they are still not accessible to a huge group of people, right? Like uh, people who aren't technical or someone who doesn't really understand, you know, how am I supposed to get this thing to run? Or someone who doesn't understand even how to get it, you know, go to GitHub and then already you can see their eyes start to glaze over. I mean, this is a link that you can send someone. And they can start using the tool. It doesn't cost them 20 bucks a month or whatever it is in your local currency. Uh, you know, it, it it doesn't require sitting through a waiting list to get access to. It doesn't require an API key or the ability to programmatically, uh, you know, access. It's just there. It just works. And it works fantastically. Well, that about wraps this up. Uh, again, I know this is a little bit different than a normal video I might do, but I just, uh, I haven't been super stoked about a tool like this in a little while. Uh, a lot of the tools that have been coming out, again, they've been really good, really fantastic, um, but they're still like missing that, you know, chat GBT moment. And I feel like hugging chat is close to that chat GBT moment, um, but without the $20 price tag, right? So, or whatever it is in your local currency. But, uh, you know, I let the AI write the intro, so I'm letting it write the outro. And we discussed how Hugging Chat is a great tool. We discussed kind of what tech went into making it. We discussed a little bit about the data set that they used to make such a powerful uh, conversational AI. Um, you know, if you're interested in discovering how Hugging Chat can help supercharge you. <laughs> you can visit their website at huggingface.co slash chat. So easy, right? And uh, yeah, 
you know, they've they've got a lot of interesting information on it. I definitely would recommend checking out Lion's uh, Open Assistant GitHub if you are uh, someone who's into checking out repositories. Um, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please hit like, subscribe, and share with anyone else who might benefit. All right. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you in the next one.